So you've decided to build the ESP log. You are going to need a USB cable, ESP C301M, and a BMY160 jar. So the first thing to do is to cut the USB cable in half. Take the insulation off from the part which plugs into PC. Now it's time to work with our models. Solder the power to the BMI160 gyro. Note that our BMI160 model contains a linear 3.3 voltage regulator. Solder the USB cable to the models. Please note that the red wire from the USB cable goes to the V-in of the BMI160 board, not 3.3 volt. Download and extract ESP2. Now download the firmware. And extract it. Copy the ESP2 binaries to the firmware directory. Now you need to open a command prompt in the directory with the firmware. Open the readme.txt file. There is a flashing command. Copy it into the terminal. Uh, you will need to set the correct serial port here. For us it is already correct. Then flash. Now flashing is done. You should see a Wi-Fi network. The password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we should be connected. Go to 192.168.401 IP address and it works. Now we will need to solder the I2C pins to the gyro board so that the ESP model can communicate with the gyro board. And also, we can disorder the USB cable as it is not needed anymore. USB cable disoldered. Now you need to solder GPU 6 to SCL and GPU 7 to SDA. I've also soldered a back to the logging device. Now we need to fill in the correct I2C pins for the gyro model. I have connected to the Wi-Fi network and now uh, we need to go to settings and put here 7 and 6 apply and reconnect the power to the logger wait for the Wi-Fi network to come up again I guess I will need to reconnect and lower the page. Yes, it works. And now we can see the the gyro works because this average gyro sample interval is non-zero, and I can start logging.
I'm also calibrate each arrow. Now it's again stop logging and download. So it's all downloaded. Everything works. Remove the log. And now we can go to settings again. And you can see that uh, we can also connect the LED and a button. These are optional, you can work without them. But I'll show how to do this. This seems to be the easiest way to solve a button to this module. We have a GND pin and a GP09 pin, and they're close enough to solder this SMD button. Now we're gonna solder an LED. I've decided to solder an LED between the GP10 and GND pins. Now let's try to set it up. Connect to Wi-Fi again. And go to settings. The LED is on GP0. The button is, is on GP09. Apply. And restart the model. Now this is how the LED and button works. We can press the button and logging starts. We can press the button again and the logging ends. Let's connect to the Wi-Fi network again. And go to the main page. We can see the log which was started by a button. Now we can go back to settings and disable the feature to disable Wi-Fi when the logging is started by a button. Let's go back. Now we can try to start the logging by a button. We're gonna press the button and we can see that active game one and we can see the new log. Now we can stop it. Active is zero. Logging has stopped. One more thing that is probably worth to change in settings is to set full power for the Wi-Fi transmission. You can do it here. And again restart the model.